Hi, I'm Jeremy with GlassBlockTinting.com. Today we're going to show you a brief installation instruction on a do-it-yourself window film uh, project. Congratulations on getting your new window film. Um, certainly going to be a good advantage to your home. We know that the glass blocks have uh, done great for letting in natural light. The only problem with the glass blocks, of course, is they let in all the UV and all the heat and tons of glare. So what you're going to do is you're going to install the glass block film on the outside of the block. The main reason for that is, is because that would prevent any type of thermal fracture. What thermal fracture would be actually is if you were to put the film on the inside of the block, the heat can transfer through the block and hit the energy efficient film and then it's going to transfer back through the block and get the block a little too hot um, and it could potentially crack the block. So why we do it on the outside is because that will never happen. So this is going to basically look like from the inside sunglasses for your glass block. All the heat and all the glare will be gone and you won't even see it. It's fantastic. So um, first off what we're going to do is we're going to show you what you do to get prepared for the installation. Um, you should have received your package by now. In the package you're going to have a few items. You're going to have a squirt bottle. You're going to have an installation solution. You're going to have a white scrubby pad. You're going to have a black rubber squeegee. And you're going to have some razor blades. These razor blades are stainless steel and they're designed to go across glass and not scratch glass. So you don't have to be worried about damaging your glass block in any way. And then of course you should have your lovely glass block window film. The glass block window film is an exterior window film designed to last for seven years. Um, it goes on the outside as mentioned and it's already ready to go. Plotted is what we call it which is basically cut like a sticker. It has rounded corners. It makes it very simple for you. There's not a whole lot that you're going to have to do other than follow these simple instructions. So first what I'd like to do is show you how you fill up the installation solution. The squirt bottle is 32 ounces. You fill it all the way to the top with water. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your installation solution. The installation solution simply goes into the uh, water. You don't have to be exactly pre precise. It's not like you're making ingredients for some special meal. Um, you know, it's really just something that's trying to give you the maneuverability. Um, so what you do is you just put a couple squirts into the water. Um, usually maybe a little bit of a quarter of the bottle or less is plenty. Um, if you find that it's sticking or it's not mo moving enough, what you would do is just add a little bit of installation solution. Okay, once you have your installation bottle ready to go, this is also used for cleaning the glass block. It's just one bottle is all that's needed. That's ready to go. Next thing you're going to do is basically get the block clean. So what you're going to do is you're going to spray some of the uh, installation and cleaning solution onto the block and simply scrub the block with the white scrubby pad. You can give it some good pressure, you know, try to get in on the little raised edge here and really get it nice and clean. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take the stainless steel razor blade. Be very careful with these both when you're using it and when you're not using it. It's very important to keep track of where these are. Some people will put it in a, a dip can or some sort of little box. Main thing is just don't put it down and then put your hand on it. Don't have somebody else put their hand on it. These are very sharp. Okay, so you want to keep the block wet at all times and then you can go in a downward motion or side to side motion. And What you're doing is just taking the razor blade and just scraping off any type of debris, any type of paint, stucco, anything that's on the block, you're gently scraping it off the glass block. Once I've done the middle, I like to concentrate on the edges. Now when I say the edges, there's a little bit of a raised edge to the glass block. The film is going to go on the flat part of the block, so what I like to do where the raised edge starts is I just like to sort of take the blade and gently go over that edge. And that way you're getting everything off the edge that could possibly still be there. Go ahead and spray the block one more time and give it one more good scrub. Okay, you're always going to have some paper towels with you of course. We prefer Bounty. It's really the only thing that I would recommend. Uh, what you're going to do then after the block has been cleaned is you're going to squeegee the block off with the black rubber squeegee. Basically just side to side. What I like to do is keep a paper towel and dry that edge every time I use it. It does pick up dirt and you don't want to keep dragging dirt back across the block. Once all the uh, middle is clean, you can take the same paper towel and fold it up where there's no dirt and then just wipe the edge. Now that block is actually ready to be installed. 
Next what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of the glass block film and it has a backing on it. So the film has a backing much like a sticker. What I like to do is I like to get my hands wet. Make sure your hands are clean also. If you've gone through a full cleaning process or you've been cleaning blocks, sometimes it's good to clean all the blocks first one really good time. Um, and that way when you go back to do each individual block, you're just cleaning it one more time uh, just to get it ready for install. But either way, if your hands get dirty, go ahead and clean them off with a paper towel. Make sure they're nice and clean. You don't want to be putting dirt all over your nice fresh glass block. So again, wetting your hands, keeping your fingertips nice and wet. What you're going to do is you're going to peel the film back from this clear sticky backing. Now the adhesive is exposed. And what you're actually going to do is just go ahead and spray the adhesive side and the non-adhesive side. The reason for that is when you take the block adhesive side down and you lay it on, you basically position it. This is where the soapy solution helps you because you can actually maneuver it now this would be right center just in the right position. Now what I like to do is I like to look at it a few different angles and just really make sure you're dialed in and perfectly square. Once you feel as though you have a good spot, you've already sprayed the outside. The reason why you sprayed the outside is so that this black rubber squeegee will slide across the glass block. So what you do is you want to hold it down with your finger and you just want to start and remove some of the water. In my case, I've put too much solution in, so I would actually go and remove a little bit of that film on by adding a little water. Usually when you work outside, you have the solar energy and it's hot outside, so of course it would certainly not slide as much either. Now that it's pretty much removed, as far as the water under the film. You can just position it again and just make sure it's perfect. And then you can let it sit for a little while. After about 30 seconds, you can start working on the next block. I like to leave it just as it is and then I come back one more time and what I actually do is I take the paper towel, I put it around the black rubber squeegee and then I just kind of work the edge. Do all the edges. It's always good to keep a finger, a thumb, a hand on the actual block so that while you're putting pressure on it, it's not sliding. So you're really going to use both hands for this installation. You can go outward and then once you know you're pretty much almost there, the last step that I do is I take the paper towel and I wrap it in a different position so that you have a dry part of the paper towel and then I just sort of work the edge like so. And you now have a tinted glass block. Now what you'll notice is from the outside, this one looks a little mirrored, it's a little shiny. This is actually our mirrored version. Um, from the inside, if you look, you really don't notice it too much, which is the incredible part. The sunlight from the outside will be diminished, the heat, the glare. Um, 